All right, so there he says that it's the poorest country in Europe. Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> Experience. Privyet is Odessi Mama. Greetings from Odessa, Ukraine. And in today's Volka Volkas with me, Connor Klein, we're going to be analyzing a video that is about the lovely ladies from the neighboring country just up the road from here, and that is Moldova. We're going to be reviewing a video that's quite popular on the internet about Moldovan girls and whether you are their winning lottery ticket <laughs> if you head there and you're looking for some ro romance uh, further up the road. I think it takes from here to get to the capital of Moldova, Chisinau. It's probably about four hours with the borders uh, to get there, maybe four and a half. Uh, you can do it a bit quicker. Obviously, you can go to Transnistria, which is a separatist republic, still de jure part of Moldova. But in this video, we're going to analyze um, the experience of a YouTuber. I've analyzed before. I had another and a reaction video to his content. So in the other video, he was talking about women from Moscow, from Russia, and in this one, it's about Moldova. In these videos, as you see, he doesn't show his face. He kind of uses um, a narrative voiceover and then some B-roll. Normally, B-roll is like the background uh, images of his travel, which is, looks like he shoots mainly on his iPhone uh, or on some sort of camera and uh, with some music and it shows his analysis. There's some points that I agree with and some I don't. So definitely for you, and the reason I do these videos, you can learn a lot before you actually have to go to Moldova yourself, figure out if it's likely to be a good spot for you. So let's get into the video. The last time I shot this, it was so cold that my hands froze. <laughs> so glad to see that things have thawed out here in Odessa. So let's get into the video. I'll link the video down below, obviously, if you want to watch the whole thing yourself afterwards. This video was filmed by Nomad TV. So as you can see, Nomad TV, this channel, it basically runs uh, kind of B-roll that a lot of times he shot himself, I presume the guy, uh, when he's visiting the countries and then it has uh, a monologue with script on it, but uh, not the easiest to watch. Um, but anyways, let's see, he seems to be in Bucharest at the start of the video because I kind of recognize it. What are Moldovan women like? All right, so there he says that it's the poorest country in Europe. Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> so that's true. All right, so there he says he's dating as a lone wolf in the poorest country of Europe. It doesn't set up in a very uh, uh, flattering life for himself, being a lone wolf, uh, lone wolf uh, in the poorest country looking for prey. But uh, there you see Chisinau, it looks pretty grim, uh, even though that's probably summertime. Uh, yeah, the center of Chisinau is not the nicest. I have done a vlog because uh, Mr. Ball, my friend Ben, he actually went there and vlogged it and caused a lot of controversy because he basically showed it being pretty much a dump. Um, but again, down below in the description to the video and up above in a card, you can watch my vlog there. Is it as bad as Mr. Ball claims? Uh, go watch it, find out if you want to see what it really looks like. Okay, so he spent two weeks in Chisinau. I think I spent about two weeks there as well when we filmed. OK, 
Okay, so you mix a contrast there with Russia and Ukraine. Um, Ukrainians can be stuck up, Russians can be materialistic. Well, I think you find all those types basically also in Moldova, in my experience, but it's probably a little bit different because it's a bit more provincial uh, than being, I think you find uh, more stuck up and materialistic, and probably in the bigger cities like obviously Odessa here, or maybe in Moscow, whilst Chisinau has only got a population of 700,000, a couple in Moldova. So if you go to a provincial city uh, here or in Russia, it's going to be, I think, reasonably similar from that point of view. Perfect. Let's see. Okay, so there he's saying that basically he wasn't uh, taken for a ride by any scammers when he went to Moldova. That's pretty good. Scamming is not going to be to the same extent as here in Odessa. Scam central, as I often say. Uh, so that definitely doesn't happen as much in Moldova from what I can see. It's not marketed. You probably haven't heard about Moldovan women so much because they're basically not marketed by scammers <laughs> or scammer agencies or whatnot. So definitely the scamming is going to be lower. Yeah, most foreign guys don't think of Moldova when they think of traveling to Eastern Europe, hence why it is so infrequently uh, visited by Westerners for sure. And yet that's also a good observation. Very few dating coaches also go to Moldova. Uh, I saw one that was there, but in general they ignore it as well. So yeah, it's definitely you don't have as much competition for foreign guys, 100%. So in terms of the price level, it's pretty much similar to here in Odessa. I wouldn't say it's any cheaper. I don't think you can really get it for $30. Probably $40 to $50 is a better price mark in general. Uh, but yeah, definitely you don't have much competition from foreigners. You do obviously have some competition for the local guys though. There he talks about the mix of the women, uh, mix of Romania and Russia. That's pretty much what Moldova is. It was in the Soviet Union, so a lot of people moved from other parts of the country at the time. So it has this mix. It's not as Romanian looking per se as you're going to see. So not as much brown hair or dark eyes like you find in Romania. Uh, you do have a little bit more of a mix, obviously. And uh, a lot of the girls do have Russian or Ukrainian heritage. Definitely have that. And I think they are better looking than in Romania. Um, so uh, not quite as good looking as here, though in general. So he says Colombians and Ukrainians are the top. Uh, I don't really rate Colombians as highly as being here in uh, the Slavic countries like Russia and Ukraine or Belarus. Uh, and I think Moldovans, as I said, because uh, of the mix with Romania, just not quite as hot. You're not going to see as many hotties in Chisinau or as you're going to see probably in a provincial city in Ukraine.
Okay, so there he said he met a lot of educated women in Moldova. He went on three dates. Um, definitely the country is poor and there's a high incentive to go and get educated. So I would say yes, they do tend to be better educated in general and be a little bit more ambitious in terms of succeeding uh, just simply because of poverty in Moldova. Um, he talks about the English level. He says it's like uh, really good. Uh, I don't think that's, in my experience, representative of Moldova. I think the English level is lower than definitely in neighboring Romania by a long way. Uh, of course, younger girls tend to speak more English, um, but you have to remember that most Moldovans, uh, in addition to having visa free to Schengen with their uh, and to Russia with just a Moldovan passport, most actually go and get a Russian and or a Romanian passport. So they say they don't have to stay there. So the girls that stay behind in general are the ones that are less likely to speak English. Um, so when we went there, yeah, it was pretty hit and miss about the English. So that wasn't my experience. But are they more motivated to educate themselves and do better? Definitely, because Moldova offers very few economic opportunities. So uh, that is definitely true. There's a higher incentive to educate yourself and uh, actually leave, sadly, in order to make money and make it a career somewhere else. Uh, but that's true, at least, you know, I would say that. Local guys are terrible, he says. Again, I think that's just a little bit about the kind of guys that stay around in Moldova versus those who leave. If you're not part of the uh, uber-rich elite of Moldova <laughs> relative, then there aren't very many prospects for you in the country. And yeah, most guys who are you know, more ambitious, they would leave as well. So options for dating are probably not the best for the local girls. So then he talks about basically the kind of standard resting bitch face that you that you meet in uh, the former Soviet Union and he says you don't find that there. I think it's just the difference between a provincial city and a big metropolis like um, in also in provincial Russia it's not like that. Uh, it's a little bit more open and friendly and like if you go to Belarus as well so I wouldn't say it's necessarily a Moldovan thing per se but definitely provincial cities it's going to be uh, easier than being in uh, a big metropolis in general. You're also, as he alluded to in Moldova, you're also going to have more automatic perceived value for just being a foreigner because you're just less of them there. So then he talks about um, whether women are as promiscuous as say in the UK or somewhere like that. Um, I would say a little bit less in the former Soviet Union in general, where it happens to be Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, and in this case, Moldova. I think that's probably pretty, uh, pretty accurate in my experience as well. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to go on a lot of dates if you have a real man attitude, uh, real man mindset combined with obviously Slavic mentality intelligence. There are two things I go into in my flagship Slavic dating course, which is Slavic Selection Secrets. Uh, it's now on demand, so I'll link that below. You can go there, you're gonna learn things about how to create the perfect date. First of all, create the optimal travel itinerary for you, which is super important if you're actually considering going to Moldova, Ukraine, or Russia, or Belarus, or somewhere else in the region, how to plan the perfect date, and then how to uh, create attraction, increase your, op your opportunities with the local women, and then test them Gold digger test, very important. You can date a gold digger if you want, but most guys are trying to avoid that. <laughs> so you need to know if you're dealing with a gold digger or not. And then also afterwards, uh, how to test see if she's good for a long-term relationship with you, whether she's a good fit, because you don't want to be wasting 
um, investing unnecessarily and incorrectly just lots of time emotions and money into dating someone where it's not going to work out in the long term because it's just not a good fit for you even if they're sincere and they're a good person it might just work out so that's all in slavic seduction secrets it's on demand now so you can go and check it out there's a link in the description to this video and that's something also that we deal with whether this three date rule whatever listen if you have enough perceived value and you have real mindset and you understand how women think in this region whether it's moldova whether it's uh, here in Ukraine or in Russia or somewhere else and <clears throat> you apply the right strategy you create that attraction you escalate and women will break all the rules <laughs> if they even if they have a three-day rule they will break it uh, if you're doing things right so uh, in general I would say that there's probably a little less promiscuity in this region compared to say Western Europe but again uh, if you come here with the right attitude mindset uh, then all rules are off. So that is my reaction to a video that's getting quite a few view views online about Moldova. There aren't so many videos about Moldova unless they're from Ben and Bald, Bald and Bankrupt or uh, mine as well, my two vlogs. And overall, there's some truth. I definitely agree in what he's saying uh, in terms of you'll face less competition in Moldova for sure. Uh, women are also good looking there in general uh, and they do have yeah I think in general more of an emphasis on education than elsewhere but I would say that overall that it's a little bit of a selection bias like you said he met lots of girls who spoke English he had three dates he apparently been talking to them online before and he didn't get I mean thankfully he didn't encounter any scammers or whatnot it seemed so that's pretty good I mean that's something that's a big problem here in scam central Odessa mama so that I agree with but English widely spoken no, that's not the case at all in Moldova, for those who were there. Um, in my experience, um, yeah, speaking Russian or, and or Romanian was definitely really helpful uh, in terms of just navigating the country and never mind actually dating the girls. So uh, don't expect English to be anything like in Romania even. Compared to Romania, the level of English is definitely a lot lower in Moldova, way lower. Uh, basically in Romania nowadays most girls uh, under the age of 30 speak pretty good English I have to say uh, so you don't you don't need to speak Romanian there to do almost everything but in Moldova yes it will be a lot trickier so I definitely plan to go back to Moldova again very soon we obviously have these travel restrictions with um, this been coronavirus 2021 start of it in January so it hasn't been as easy to travel around I am planning to go back to Chisinau for sure and probably other parts of Moldova vlog it for you give you a little bit more of a sense of what your experience might be like if you go there I, as I pointed out I did have friends who went there and also a guy who was on actually Slavic Seduction Secrets season one um, and both of them were like uh, one was half African half Afro-Portuguese actually from Cape Verde he's a friend of mine and also one of the, um, the one of the participants on that um, boot camp uh, he was African-American and they both really liked um, Chisinau Moldova so I don't know if that's representative where guys who are African or part African or African descent uh, how they um, prefer in the region whether it's going to be Ukraine or Moldova but maybe you know there's other black dudes out there who have been there and thought it was cool then definitely write, leave me a comment below so I know if it's a general trend for some reason and Moldova in general definitely worth checking out I wouldn't say that you should go there over coming say to here in Ukraine or Belarus or Russia necessarily uh, unless there's some other reason to, for you to go there um, if you prefer more provincial kind of vibe then yeah it could be worth checking out but you also have provincial towns in in this region so uh, maybe there's some other reason like you happen to be nearby in Romania or you have direct flights there or something uh, then it could be worth checking out for you to go to um, to go to Moldova uh, in terms of the girls and everything else again English not going to be as high as I think in other parts um, maybe even less than here in Odessa or in Kiev I would think maybe slightly and in terms of the beauty and stuff well yeah there's somewhere between Romania and here so in summary that is my analysis both of the video and of what you might be likely to encounter in Moldova uh, if you are interested in going to Moldova and maybe spending a lot of time there I do get uh, quite a few uh, emails for guys who actually want to move to Moldova <laughs> and um, because they have some particular reason to move there you know, normally they've met a girl <laughs> who's from Moldova and they decide that the cost of living is obviously a lot less there than in the US or somewhere uh, just write me a message uh, and um, we can exchange and see I may um, design a program actually for guys who are wanting to spend a lot of time in Moldova in the future so it's good for us to have that communication already so just shoot me, shoot me a quick email and I'll put you on a special mailing list free 
mailing list for that and in the future I might design it. Uh, otherwise, it is, the sun has disappeared, man. It was so sunny earlier and now over the Potemkin steps, uh, we have clouds. So that's why I've lost a little bit of that sunny vibe and it is starting to get a little bit colder than it was. At least it's not minus 12, feeling like minus 25, 30 C, like it was when I tried to film this video originally a week, whatever it was, five or six days ago. Dopobacna, disvadanya. In Romania, you would say, la revedere. See you very soon in the next video. Ciao. Sar Experience.